kind of like you know how, how some people not us but how some people when it comes to working out going to the gym oh i could do i'm gonna do that next year january comes new year new me i always got next year or i got next week got next saturday same thing same thing they just put it off you're right uh i think a lot of those people are the same kind of people that they blame those those and I'm guilty of it. Those are the people that say it's the system. It's the education system. This is our problem with the education system. The educate every time I hear that I feel funny because I say it and I've said it and I've said it on this. I've said it. I probably said it yesterday. But every time I hear someone else say it, I feel weird when they're like, "This is why we have issues with our education system. This is what's so bad about the education system." Because I, I never really knew why I felt funny about it because so many people say it without solution. You know. Like, it's so messed up, they're never going to fix it. And I always felt funny. And then I started to realize it was like, maybe because it, how much of education, how much of being educated as an individual, how much of that is the system's responsibility and everyone else's responsibility? And how much of it is, like, your responsibility? Right? I mean... uh I think I think the system has, has I think I think it's all of the above. I think you're responsible for your own education. I think the system should be responsible for teaching you at least the right basic stuff, the right the keywords right, not like you know dumb shit, right? But like the right stuff, the ones that actually are, are practical that you can use outside of school, right? And I think it is all it falls on you too to to supplement what they aren't teaching you with outside learning. Hey, but what constitutes as right? That's the thing. That's what I'm saying. Uh, teaching how to do taxes would be nice, right? Like, uh, yeah, yeah, but but then there'll be something else. Like if if we learn taxes, think about this. If we learn taxes in school today, if we learn taxes, if we learned critical thinking, if we learned about passive income, if we learned about all these things that we're figuring out when we're 20, if we learned that when we were in high school, okay, right now, there would still be something else that the system was missing. I, yeah, I agree. Okay. So, and we would still be having the same conversation. Okay. People would uh, still say the education system is wrong. Education, education system, the system, the system, the system. And that's, that's, I just don't think there's a lot of people that acknowledge that it falls on the individual. And look, I know not everyone comes from the same starting school point i went to a great school i had all the opportunity in the world like i couldn't even think of and i took a lot of it for granted okay but there was nothing that i really feel like i missed out on opportunity wise i know there's a lot of people that don't have that right I, i get it i know there's a lot of really bad schools out there i get it but people there's a lot of people including me that are upset with the education system that i went through Okay, they're focused on me. So if I'm gonna just talk about my sis, my little bubble, really good school, good college, all the opportunity and scholarships, I got all this stuff, and there's still people that are upset about it. I just don't. I think it's a never-ending thing. I think until someone realizes that, hey, it's on the individual. It's on you to decide whether you want to put your trust in a university to teach you business or to teach you accounting versus go and find that somewhere else. It's a choice you make. So here's a deal. Here's how I feel about that. Um, <clears throat> I agree with you, but here's what I feel. A, a couple things. One, I feel like it can be better, but I also agree with you that it will never be perfect, and people always bitch about something, right? It, if, if, we, if, we, if we had all the subjects that you just said in the system nice. right now, there's always going to yeah, I agree. There's going to be something else like, oh, my God, they're not teaching you how to use a gun properly to defend yourself or some shit like that, right? There's right, always going to be something. Right, 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 right. So I agree always with you. So it's never going to be perfect, right? But I agree, but I believe it could be better. And I know, and the reason why I think it could be better is because I, and I know you know this, there are times, especially when you go from one school to the next school, bec- like graduating from like high school to college or mm-hmm. middle school to high school, there are times where you spend the good half a year or even even the full year relearning the same stuff you learned previously and i feel like that is a lot of waste of time that can go towards new subjects or if they're like hey look or or if they're going to do that then they should cut down the school time so then so then you can go out and spend more time learning outside stuff i just i thought about it in the car i was listening to someone bitch about the education system like a week ago and i was like because i don't have an education system right now i have zero and i'm still I have it, I'm curious, but I'm also I practice like the vocabulary thing. Like I feel like I need to always 
put myself in some sort of some sort of system to learn. I need to always learn something and I get to pick, right? And I was just like, man, until people start to adjust the idea that <sighs> I know everyone's upset because you go to college to get the good job and they're upset about the debt and they're the set that you don't they're upset that you don't get the right job that pays off all the debt in the next year like they said quote unquote promised or whatever i know that but and i know you're 17 when you sign this and shit but like it is your choice to put trust in that university and whether you should have put trust in them or not is based on your lack your either good or poor decision right and i would say that comes from a lack of education obviously a lack of experience which how are you going to replicate that but but it's the truth and not a lot of people say that like if i bitch about like man i went to school and i you know and you know this is my experience and it wasn't worth it or anything someone go ahead go ahead ahead. ahead. okay Uh, so someone someone who's like a self-made immigrant who makes millions of dollars and wants to be really honest will look at me and be like that is your fault like, did anyone force you to go to that? Anyone put your name in a hat and draft you to that university? No, you chose to apply. You chose to pay. You chose to sign up for this shit. Yeah, because someone told you, but, and they probably won't say something like this, but if someone told you to jump off a bridge, would you just do it? It's a stretch, but it, I mean, the responsibility, I think, falls in the same place. Uh, I agree, but it's, I mean, when you're 17, though, you don't know anything. You just and, and and not only that, but society, especially in America. I mean, I know we don't like school, but like society in general, there's a lot of like weight put on colleges and universities still. Like you know, society makes you feel like after high school, the next common sense step is college. Your parents put that on you. Society <laughs> puts that on you. If society didn't do that, it's pressure. Yeah, if they didn't do that, I I it would it would, I would understand more like, hey, you didn't have to go. But the fact that, like, people still believe you need that paper to get a decent job and that you need that paper for your parents to, like, not disown you or whatever, or you need that paper to feel like you might have a chance at a better job. Like, there's so many people that believe that. I have friends that want to go back to school to get their master's, and I'm like, oh, my God, like, you want to enter jail again? Like, it may help them. Maybe, maybe, but, like... (laughs) Elon okay. Musk, I love what he did recently. He tweeted how he's looking for people to join his team. Did you see this shit? Yeah. He's looking for people to join his team, and he's like, "Hey, I don't care if you have no master. I don't care if you have no master's degrees. Matter of fact, I don't even care if you finish high school." <laughs> he's like, "I just need you to know, to be able to like pass this hardcore coding test I have yeah. and understand AI, and that's it." Yeah. I said that to my friend. I was like, "Hey, dude, look, I know you're into." I said it to my friends first- too. I said yeah. it to a couple of them. Like. What the fuck? Like that's uh, that's so amazing. Like I wish more jobs like that. Hey, look, you don't need to go to school, uh, high school. I don't give a fuck. You just need to make sure that you have. I need you to have like these what I call X factor traits, right? Mm-hmm. These things like you don't learn. It just it's kind of like developed in you when you're a little kid, or you're born with it, or you just your environment shaped you to have that, and you just right. happen to have that. I'm looking for like the X factors. Yeah. Look, I, I'm 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 with you. I'm gonna ask you about your friends though. Okay, how old are they? They're the ones that want to go get their masters. How old are they? They're a year younger than me, they're like twenty six. Okay, so so they obviously know more than they did when they were seventeen. Yeah. Okay. So if they go and they get their masters and they come out and they can't find a job that is unreasonably better or reasonable. It's their better, fault. Okay. What if they say it's the <laughs> I <laughs> it's the school, it's the education system. What's your thought on that? What if they want to uh, blame it on that? I mean, I, I, I can't say that it's not the school system. I can't say it's not the school's fault, but I, I will not put all the blame on the school. Okay, so what's the difference between saying it's their fault when they're 26, but it's not someone's fault when they're 17? Because they are choosing to go in. <laughs> they're choosing to go okay, back in. Okay, but when you're 17, you're choosing. I mean, you don't, no one's A lot of times you are, though. A lot of times the parents are like, hey, look, you don't go to school, I'm kicking you out. And for most 17 year olds, which is understandable, that's very scary. Because most of them barely even have a job, and if they do have a job, it's minimum wage. I'm playing devil's avocado. I understand. I know. Okay. And That's how I feel about that. It's I, I feel like when you're 17, you're kind of more more timid in the world. You're only been alive for 17 years. 
Right. And half the time you're like in diapers or whatever. So it's like, what? <laughs>